the interview, and may we wish you the best in retirement. Thank you very much. And really, there was nothing in it in the first. And I suppose now that the championship fights have been cut to 12 rounds in recent years, that is, of course, they can afford to go at a slightly faster pace. The old 15 rounds have a heart. Oh! Well, certainly Petru won't, well, with that right hand from Kelly coming in there. But normally, Petru does absorb a good punch, but we'll find out here. Maybe when he plays in the dressing gown explosive, he wasn't kidding. But both of them have been up and down in fights and come back to win. And they know how to come off the floor. Certainly got more control, Jim, hasn't he, Kelly, now? He used to be a bit too wild. Yeah, well, he's a nice tight defence. He's throwing good punches. That right hand should have given him a lot of confidence. He sensed that he bad the hook for But he's taking his time looking for a spot again. He hasn't gone erratic as maybe he would have done uh, last year or so. So what a cool bit. Petrus coming back into it again. Hey, guys. Got all the guts in the world, Petru. We all thought it would be this way, and they're actually standing, the spectators here, particularly Kelly's spectators, actually standing in the front rows cheering on. What a battle this is. They're not going to baffle each other with science, I suspect, but I tell you what, it's an old-fashioned get-stuck-in one. Referee from the south, and Roland Dakin. Well, full marks across the Petru. He's pulled his way out of that a bit, Jim. Yeah, he has his back into the suit, back into the fight again. Uh, see, Kelly gets a little bit, the few extra inches in his punches, the way he steps in with him, and that's the reason he's catching Petru now and again with good punches. So now Petru's supporters there are chanting for him, mostly up in the gallery here. Pat Caldell, the super featherweight champion, is here to support him, one of his stable mates. Style-wise, Jim, they're made for each other, aren't they? We get the countdown of round two. Yeah, well, they both just want to stand there and let the punches go, so the fans are reaping the benefits. I tell you what, it's just as well you and I ducked then. He was coming straight at us, Kelly. What a battle towards the end of the round there. Well, what do you tell this fellow? Except, come on, get out there and get stuck in. You can't expect him to do the old-fashioned English straight left. 21 fights, 118, stopped 11 of those, including his last seven. Have a look at some replay. There's a big right hand here, Jim. There it is from Kelly. Bit long, but it, it's, it, it really hurt uh, for True there. It seemed a long punch, but it must have hurt at the end of it. So we're into the third round then of this vacant British welterweight championship fight. And what a rugged battle it's turning out to be. Petru under fire in the second. And Kelly in the red trunks. Always trying to wing the dangerous punch in. Just watching him at the weigh-in today, Kelly. He really is whipcord strong for a welterweight. He's a powerful boy. On the other hand, I don't call Petru the... Greek tank for nothing, he keeps marching on. Well, most of the smart money, off course betting as they say, reckon that this could not go the 12 rounds distance. 
because they really are a couple of young bangers here who get stuck in there. Don't mind taking one to give one. So a minute gone in round three, and it's Petru who's overcome a bit of a dodgy second round to come real, really back into the fight now. And the two supporters clubs really spurring them on here in neutral Darlington. Difficult fight for corner members, Jim, isn't it? What do you say to two fellows who you know have only got to get stuck in? There's no other way. Yeah, well, they're just going to do what they can do. There's not really any tactics in this fight. They're both just banging away. Uh, I've seen Petru struggle against poor opposition a couple of times. But the better the opposition, the better he performs. But he proved his grit as far as I'm concerned in the second round. The way he comes smashing back again uh, to win the second half of the second round. But he really proved his grit. One thing about Kelly has been in more old-fashioned nobbins fights than anybody I know of recent years. When they throw the appreciative money in the ring. Not the sort of thing that champions want too often because that's, uh, the battles are too hard that way. Well, it looks as though Petru's trying to impose his will a bit now on the strong man Kelly. As though to say, well, you've had your go and uh, now let me have a chance. may not be that powerful, Jim Petrus, but those little bursts of short punches are quite effective, aren't they? Yeah, he's, he's doing a lot more work in this round than Kelly is. I think he's edging himself in front in this round. And we know Petru normally, he doesn't like stamina, he usually comes on strong uh, towards the end of the fight too, so uh, I don't think Kelly can afford to let him build up an early lead. Jim, have a look at this replay of some Petru stuff there coming in. Yeah, well, Petru's putting his punches together better than Kelly. I think that's given him a slight edge in the fight. Uh, Kelly, Kelly's uh, what one punch at a time seemed more powerful than Petru's, but Petru's doing a bit more work. That was a nice burst of punches there. There's Costas Petru with the Lynch brothers in the corner there, comes out of the Birmingham Gymnasium. Round four of the scheduled 12 rounds championship fight. Originally, Colin Jones gave up the British Championship to concentrate on European and then World. And now Lloyd Hannigan from London has done that. He's won the European. And... Uh, both of these are now saying we've got a good shot of being nominated to fight Hunnigan for the European Championship. So there's quite a bit at stake. And if it does keep up like this, certainly referee Roland Day can have a little trouble with the mathematics if it goes to 12 rounds because it's really been swaying a bit. 